Hello again. Back again. And the drill is running. I have made a slight improvement to it. And I don't know whether I've actually showed you this. Uh, even if I have, you're going to see it again. Tough luck. Basically, Ender Chest sends a battery through, an empty battery, sends it straight into the battery box, then this extracts the full battery as a retriever, because it can only come out the top, because that's where it went in, and then replaces it into another Ender Chest, which sends it all the way back again. And it does that in a loop every time it runs out of batteries. So if we come over to the drill now, you can see it's slightly expanded. I spent about two hours yesterday trying to get it to go right. I finally got it working. Here it is. It's basically exactly the opposite of what I have here. Just, yeah, the reason why I didn't get it, the reason why I, was, uh, I didn't understand it all, is I forgot you needed frames on one side of the one facing down. Now, let me explain that a bit better. So, okay, we had this one running, this one takes the drill left, and this one takes the drill right. My problem being, I could go left, that was fine, I could travel left, but every time I tried, I didn't have a piece of frame nearby. And if I think about it now, I may still have that problem. I don't know whether I... I found out the problem, I just don't think I bothered with a solution. So if I... Okay, the drill's running, so I can't really test it. But basically, the wiring's exactly the same, and you need a frame blocking it from sliding. Or the opposite motor from sliding away off the machine. But what I keep finding is, which is a bit of a pain to be honest, is the red alloy wire, and even timers sometimes, vanish. Drop off, well, the wire drops off, I find that. Timers, I keep losing. I do not understand why they are on proper panels, and it's not all the time either. So I can't assume it's going to happen every single time. Which is a bit of a pain. I am hoping to get this drill to go up and down as well, but after the stressful amount of time I spent trying to get this working, changing every little aspect just to try to get it to work, I'm probably going to postpone that for now, because I mean, we've got quite a bit of materials, we can move it left a few times because there is the space, we can move it right a few times, and if we're really bothered, we can just put a few more frames in to make it go further forwards. Let's be head back to the factory. Do 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 up here. I don't think a lot has changed in here since you last saw it. It's pretty much all the same. If I show you how the UU mat has been doing, I had to turn that off because we are running out of lava by quite a bit. We were down to 30,000, I think. So that's 30 buckets worth. Uh, yeah, so this is stopped for the moment. However, we do have almost four stacks of UU matter. So that will be going towards a quantum suit. We've got recyclers running, as usual. They're all happy. Making a ton of scrap, which I keep having to put into the quantum, into the mass fabricator. And I think it might be making it faster than it uses it. Because obviously we can't have it on all the time because we don't have a power. Now as I keep saying that, well as I was saying that, I was thinking, what the hell am I going to do now? I don't want to do the drill because that's just winding me up. Everything else seems to be working. I'm not really an architect so there's no point building something random. And then I kept mentioning power. So I'm thinking, we make a lot more biomass engines. I don't know whether we put them upstairs or keep them down here. Because I want the engines to be able to plug into this main cable again. So we can either get these crucibles running at maximum speed all the time, or, which would be even better, add another one onto the two that we've already got. 
So let's have a think whether I'm going to put this. I could put a ton in the ground. But don't forget, I need to power them with redstone. I need to get biomass into them. And I also need to get the electricity, mega jewels, Minecraft jewels, out. I'm thinking I could put another eight along here. Because that's quite an extent, quite an increase. Hmm. So many options. Let's check our copper supplies. Because that's going to be the thing that keeps us back. Look at that. It's perfect. We are making quite a bit now from that quarry. At that height, it's perfect. So. Let's go about. Let's get rid of these. Who needs them? At least we don't for now. Let's make eight more biomass engines. If we need more, I think I'll put them upstairs and then send the power down. Probably along the exact same line. So I can still power it from the redstone cable through the walls. Something like that. Anyways, we need eight pistons. Lucky we've got quite a few in here. We need 16 cogs, gears even, get it wrong every time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There we go, perfect. 16 wooden gears, need to follow that up with some cobblestone. Running, 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 running. Grab that, bring it all the way back, and turn these wooden gears into stone gears. I mean, you've seen this before, but why not explain it again? I should have thought about that. I need four for every six, so I need, I need a stack. Oh god, okay, let's just... That's in. Okay. Easy way of doing this. You get rid of one. You end up with 48. You make that into 16. There you have it. A stack of bronze ingots. I can then put that together. What I do need now, though, is 8 times 3, which is 24. That's plenty then. And that will be the uh, top section. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight glass. But didn't appear. Great. Awesome. Eight biogas engines. Let's put them. Let's replace that. Check the light levels. I do this every time at the moment. Because if we get a creeper spawn in here, it'll be extremely expensive to replace some of this machinery and I think some of it I'll forget how to put together again so if we put these across oh god oh, oh no oh no quick quick oh no it's too late too late oh god I'm slow no not that oh. okay not in there not in there stop going in there Okay. Panic over. That means we're going to have to cover this up. I I have got to the point where I'm not really bothered about what covers I'm using. Because I think this is for factory. I don't think it should make a difference so long as it's functional and the outside looks good. Shouldn't really matter what's going on inside. Here we have it, eight more engines. <coughs> Let's grab pipes for it. Because hopefully we can get these running faster than the 25.4 they are at the moment. It should work, it should be fine. Each of these creates five extra mega jewels with 
momentary lag. What is going on with the lag again? Okay. Conductive pipes. Golden. We got any wooden ones? Okay, we need. F okay, it's not even worth getting those out. Let's get a piece of glass. Use for planks. Grab some redstone. There's the glass, but didn't pick up. I mean, our redstone levels aren't bad. But I'm slightly. Well, I'll just have to extend the amount of um, frames that the drill pushes. And therefore, it'll go further and collect more redstone. So, to be honest, that's not a problem. Creating a mountain out of a molehill. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Put these in. Oh, God. That's happy, that's still fine. That's not how it works. What is with this lag? Oh, that was painful. This is new. I don't get lag. At least not this bad. Well, let's let's just keep pushing for it. Or not. I don't really want to go and check what's doing this. So for now, it's it's not like it's affecting us opening chests, so it's not lag, it's actually frame rate. But why should it drop from about an average of 30 down to 10? And lower, I just saw it go lower, that's ridiculous. Oh, okay. I'm going to wire those up, get rid of this frame rate problem. Look at that, I went down to five then. Five frames per second. Okay, I'll see you in a moment. Back again. And, oh my god, my frame rates were fine until I started recording. What is going on? One moment. Right, it seems my frames are better now. Sl Why is it doing it? Just, it was fine. Oh my god. I don't trust this whatsoever. Now why is it around those numbers? Come on, speed up. Speed up. Okay. I really don't understand what the frames are doing. And I think I'm just going to get these engines running and show you what happens. If I get a few spikes again, I'm just going to ignore it. Where did all the buckets go? I had eight in my hand. And, okay. That's weird. It's like vanished. Hmm, okay. Take them downstairs and put them into the engines. One, that should start going soon. Two, three, four, up here. Oh god. Five, six, seven, Eight. This should create quite a bit more power. Look at that beam. That is one thick beam. And these aren't even at full. I mean, okay, they're outputting 5MJ, but I assume green is less efficient than yellow. Let's see what's happening over here. Yay! Going straight to 30. Perfect. Should be quicker now as well. It's doing exactly the same. Okay, so we're making lava quicker. However, I'm thinking we make another magma crucible anyway. And 
expand this even further anyway. I could move this cable down one block and actually have it keep on going along. Oh, except those in the window eye. I could have another six, which wouldn't be too bad at all. So I'm hoping this is going to give us a fair bit more, a fair amount more lava to power that stupid machine that I've forgotten the name of. Mass Fabricator, that's it. So this should be filling up faster. And yeah, we've made more power. So far, so good. I've actually put in a third magma crucible and it still seems to be using the maximum amount of power. So at the moment, that's, that's a 50% increase from what we had. I'm just hoping that the uh, maximum power stays at the top. I saw it flash. I saw it flash. See what these are doing? That's happy. No one's happy. They're going down, certainly. However, I'm just hoping it st stays around at least above 28. If we just grab some more cobblestone and put it in there. This is filling up nicely. I'll make it a bit quicker. So basically, what I did is power splitting up again. And now we've got a fluid pipe joining this one and then just going up into the liquid transposer. And then I'll probably set another one on the back like I did here. Maybe a bit symmetrical, keep it looking similar. And then it will give me an excuse to make even more biomass engines. It's a shame it's still going down. Hmm. But yeah, still contemplating where to put those engines. It's going to be a bit annoying. Like I said, six can go there. I'll probably utilise that space. However, anything after that will probably have to go upstairs. Hmm. Did I ever show you this? I assume I did. Okay, well, quick summary, because I don't want to repeat myself. This takes in, oh, there's Matt. This takes in sand, excess sand, and uh, fertilizer, all that sort of stuff. Oh, and my frames have gone mental, never mind. It takes out the appetite with a filter and sand. It gets crafted, puts into the relay. Oh, that doesn't really matter, but. Yeah, it does because it's a buildcraft pipe into it. There's a ton of frame rate drop, which is just weird. And then the same thing happens here, and it gives us hummus. But to be honest, in the amount of time it took me to make that, we made two barrels worth of tree saplings. So I don't think I'll be using it too much. And my frames just went down to one. So that's just getting stupid. I'll probably stop recording for today. So I'll see you next time. Okay, I have come back to do a bit more recording, and it seems my frames, I've probably jinxed it now that I've said that, are happy. So yeah, that's all good. And if you notice, we have got all the engines in place, including three extra ones. I've replaced all of the waterproof pipe with golden waterproof piping just because it actually wasn't getting around fast enough. It is working at the moment. And to be honest, we don't seem to be using all that much biomass still, which is great. A beam of electricity, just so thick you can't imagine. And I added a fourth magma crucible. And so, I was talking to Matt about it. The fact that we can make a lava bucket around about every 10 seconds. I have made it a bit slower, I put it on 12, but um, he mentioned why don't we just pump it from the nether, and yeah, I pretty much face palmed. was not thinking how much of that lava we could have got from the nether is just, it's shocking to be honest, and 
I'm just incredibly annoyed I didn't think of it sooner because it was a save me a lot of effort however I'm not gonna get rid of this I'm happy with it we're getting quite a bit of lava coming through if I show you what's going on we were down at 30 buckets so around well it was yesterday but well no earlier just basically earlier we're around between 30 and 50 buckets we've now got to about 1200 I do not think that's a bad thing whatsoever so what I'm going to do now is see what we've got in the machines chest and hope that we've got a tesseract awesome we've got a pump ah, that's a quarry don't want that where's a pump it's probably in this one if it's going to be anywhere else nope looks like I'm making a pump so yeah tesseract pump in fact we're going to need two tesseracts one for liquid Oh god, we're going to need three test racks. We're going to need one for power, one for liquid, uh, sending it from the nether, and another one accepting it here. And I assume it can just plug into build craft pipes. Yeah, it looks like it can. And then I think on top of that, we're going to need to make a chunk loader to keep the nether completely loaded while it's doing it. So yeah, I think I'm going to be doing that right now. Seeing as everything else is running. In the biomass engines alone, we are storing 320 buckets worth of biomass. That's an eighth of what that can store. An eighth is just in the engines. It's just ridiculous. I don't think I'll be making any more. It really isn't necessary, to be honest. I just thought the wall would look awesome. If it was just filled up and it does I think it went well so I'm gonna do that you're gonna see it when I'm either placing it or it's done <laughs> 